Rick, thanks for meeting. Oh, heavy beer. We're gonna talk about a bunch of good shit. In the early days, you guys did 300 shows a year plus. Yeah. You've never quit touring. You no. tour more now probably than most younger bands. What is the secret? You gotta How like you what you're doing, and people gotta hire you. That's true. <laughs> you know, if we weren't hired, I don't know that we'd be out quite as much. But we, you know, but uh, about eight years ago, we said, well, maybe we shouldn't tour so much, so we should raise our price. And that didn't stop anything. I said, so sh we should have raised our price ten years before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You never no, know. No, we, we don't know that stuff. I heard you have a really special orange amp that has yeah, I do. special powers. It's an early one. Which, which one is that's it? That's that one right there, right in the middle. Uh, that's the first one that I think was ever made. Really? Yeah, yeah basically. I, I bought it at uh, Orange Music in, in London. Okay. Uh, it was, I bought it from Cliff Cooper, who was, started Orange. What year was this, Rick? It was somewhere between 1968 and 1970. Okay. Somewhere in there. Because I bought my Mellotron. Because I okay. bought my Mellotron, my first Mellotron from Cliff Cooper also. It was a used one I bought over in London and I had it shipped over by boat. And it was on. Really? It was on the first album, the, on the Fuse album. Okay. Which yeah, was yeah. Released in '69, but I think we recorded in '68. So that would have been it. Now you're a self-proclaimed hoarder. Yeah. Well, so how many of these? We so, got? so this is the number one, and, and the guys at Orange told me that, that that they made four of them. Okay. And they didn't even. They'd never even seen one. And okay. that's that's the so that's the very first one. Very rare then. Very rare. And okay. I've had it for you know I've had it for geez, forty. 40 some years <laughs> it's like and it's like except for the little the the emblem being busted a little bit it's perfect I workhorse mean, yeah do you ever uh, track in the studio with oranges I, with I the track in the studio with it yes it's got okay. punch it's got great yeah. punch to it and uh, then uh, then orange was kind enough to build me another one over right here, and they made a checkerboard for well me. there you go that's so enough. and uh, so it's a little different configuration looks right. a little bit different but then then about a month ago, I was in Seattle, went guitar shopping, and amp shopping with uh, Mike McCready okay. from Pearl Jam. And I walked in the store, and I'll go in there, and he, they're all looking at this and that, and I say, boom, I point over. That right. was down on the floor. Right. But I said, that's, that's the direct copy of the same one I already have. Okay. And so. So you've so, got two of the four. Two of the four. All right. Have you ever thrown a pick into an orifice or? mouth or eyeball and was there a lawsuit uh a lot of cleavage a lot of titties because that's where the it, it, it's just drawn tell me about the cameo in the fat boys movie disorderly because that oh, was fucking well, wild. oh yeah well let's see they wanted a really crappy actor and they got it really yeah yeah i i, I can't act I, I can react i'm a pretty good reactor but as, as far as acting i i was only going 25. pushes out radio clock you're doing 40 now get out the car man you got time for the back I think your rat tail sold it though. You had a nice one. Sold. Well, they cut out my best line in that movie because it was says, says, I was only going 35, you know, but my other line was, I was only going 35 and I gave him the finger. Oh, yeah. And they, they took, it out. and I, I can do the finger. But. Well, if you need somebody cute uh, to play rhythm guitar, Rick, you know, so you don't got to do all the duties, I'm right here, buddy. Well, why don't you play with us tonight? I didn't know you were serious, Rick, but that's awesome. Yeah. 